lay my troubles down and I'm going to pick up faith in God. Now that is a testimony that everybody should emulate and say, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. <laughs> amen. amen. We heard the song. <laughs> yeah, we heard it, baby. Um, and, 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 and all of us, amen, from the smallest to the greatest, have things that are so interesting, the, the things that make uh, a book a good read, that they happen to us on a daily basis. Job stands out as a, an icon. But Job, and, and, and you know, it was interesting, what I did yesterday was uh, eulogize someone who was 28. Job did that 10 times. He sat out there as a, you know, if you would allow this, he sat out there as a father. And he had seven sons eulogized and three daughters. Lost 10 kids. Amen. He had, he had to go through the pain of loss. Not only did he lose, I'm talking about that that, that was the greatest loss, but then he, he lost every aspect of wealth that he had. He not only did he lose his wealth, but he lost all of his prestige. He lost, my God. Church, amen. One thing that we cannot handle very easily is the loss of reputation. Amen. And, 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 my God, can you imagine somebody said about Lazarus, he stinketh now? Sometimes God can't help you till you begin to stink. My God. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm not talking about, uh, uh, you know, becoming heaven body odor or something like that. But I'm talking about when your life, when they began to, when you were that person that they depended upon, when you were that person that you were the go-to person, when you were that person that they could count on all the time, and now, amen, now you become the person in need. Now you stink. When you become the person, not only are you in need, but when you, when they come in and, and make their supply, you can't give it back. Now you stink. Ah, praise the Lord. Amen. Church of God, sometimes God has to bring us to that place before He can give us another push, a greater elevation. Amen. And, 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 and some of you all sitting here, amen, in your family members' eyes, you all going to stink one day. Don't want me to go here, but I got to go here. Praise the Lord. I'm talking about those who praised you before. Amen. Go talk about you tomorrow. Amen. Those who gave you props and talked about how successful you were. Amen. Well, well tomorrow we'll talk about you like you were a dead dog. Amen. That they didn't care about. My God. So, so, so it was with Job. Amen. At the loss of all, he had friends who berated him. He had a wife who, amen, who, 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 who totally turned against him. It looked like even God turned against him. It looked like. But church, don't go with appearance. Because there are some things that God has said that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even to the end of the age. Amen. There are some things that God, there are some places God has to take us to reveal himself completely in us. Amen. And church, sometimes he cannot bless us until we go to the place of complete brokenness. My God. I'm talking about you're going to be broke, amen, in your spirit, broke in your thinking, broke, amen, in your hopes and aspirations. You're going to be broke in your pocketbook. Bro my God, even your china going to be broke. My God. He's, but he said a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, he will in no wise despise. 
So it was with Job that he entered into that, my God, my God, my God. Church of God, uh, uh, you, you know, we, we you, you, you know, we, we look at the people who have fallen into misery and those who have come up out of misery and gone back to that mountaintop. Amen. Most of your, uh, uh, what is that, those docudramas and those, you know, uh, emotional pictures, they are about, amen, uh, total abject loss, pain and suffering, and then redemption. Amen. It's nothing but the human story. Born into sin, shaped in iniquity, but there is a redeemer. There is a way out. Job was a testimony of this man. Amen. Had ten funerals, lost all, friends turned against him. And when he's out there in an ash heap with maggots crawling through his body, my God, rubbing, y'all forgive me for being so grotesque, but the truth, sometimes we can get to the place we can't handle the truth. Amen. We're just going to tell it anyway. So you all just cringe and beg. Amen. Job would put mud and make mud and put it on his body and scrape it off. Uh, he was in such a bad way. And here come friends to help and the friends do nothing but hurt and tell him, you are in this state because you are a sinner. <laughs> Amen. There is no way God would do this to a holy man. And if you're so holy now, now get yourself out of the trouble that you're in. My God. Amen. You see, you was just a fake before, but now your real man has come out. Church of God, amen. Job was in this state, and here it was as in this state. Job said, all oh, that a book was written, amen, for me. That somebody would take a piece of iron amen, and lay it and write it so that it is indelible so that nobody would ever forget this testimony. Amen. Somebody needs to read this testimony. The Church of God, Job was giving some sentiments that's nothing but the testimony of the Lord. Church of God, if Job would have stayed, amen, with his seven sons and three daughters and they continued on in their wealth, and if Job would have stayed in his uh, status of the wealthiest man in the East, if Job would have never gone through some trouble, there would have never been a book written. Ah, but because he, oh Lord have mercy, but because he had to go down through some stuff, because he had to go through Come some battles, yes, because yes. he had to go through some mess, yes, because, yes. <laughs> Lord have mercy, because he had